I'm going to call it uh, Radio Fallout TV, Homemade TV, the way you like it. The Harwood Broadcasting Corporation, HBC. Harwood. HBC. <laughs> Or Arwood Broadcasting Corporation. Ooh. He hates that. I do. Uh, now then, let's hope it's dark enough uh, so that nobody can really see us. <laughs> I thought you meant my humour. <laughs> oh, that is dark. Yeah. Speaking of humour, I'm going watching Kenny Mills on Thursday. Fantastic. Will it pass at the Mercury Motel, West Orton. Yes. Kenny right. Mills, a fantastic comedian and yes. MC. He's got three acts on. I'm looking at him for the double column job in uh, December. Very good. He's a good <clears> lad. <throat> You'll enjoy it. They always have good acts oh, on the Mercury. Don't say I do that too much. Yeah. It's just a nervous tip, what do you mean? It's just putting barriers between me and the camera. <laughs> You've been together for long enough now for her to start spotting the flaws. <laughs> many, oh, many. <laughs> oh, she spotted those straight off. And pointing them out to you with a regular basis. Women just want to change you. They love you the way you are, but they just want you to be a yeah. bit better. We like them and we go, oh, she's lovely. She'll stay, do. Stay like that. But no, they see us and go, I can work with that. <laughs> How little they know, Tim. <clears throat> now, have you got anything for us, Lee, or is it going to be one of those two-minute podcasts? I got uh, a couple of things off uh, Facebook, which have amused me, Timmy, which I can talk about. Um, My heart sinks. Yes, but then what happens is I talk about it, and the people who posted the thing on Facebook go, look, I'm famous to 14 other people as well, because right. of that thing I put up. Now then, uh, <clears throat> in the news, Lee, an Italian man accused of groping female colleagues colleagues, is not guilty of sexual harassment because he was driven by an immature sense of humour rather than a desire for sexual gratification, a court in Sicily ruled. Now, do you know any pure outfits who, uh, <laughs> who have an immature sense of humour, Lee? <laughs> I, I thought that was going to go. If you read that whole start, Italian man found groping, blah, blah, blah. Turns out to be the Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah. Again, no shouting. There's a microphone there. No shouting, everyone. But I know what you do. See, when Lee gets to his punchline, he starts to shout. <laughs> I get the, excited. It's the equivalent of doing this. Ha, da, 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 da. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, Italian groping. Where's the news? The news. International Women's Day uh, last week, uh, which was really? uh, yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> it kind of just <laughs> went by. However, yesterday, Timmy, and we've done this before, was. Steak and blowjob day. Oh. It was. This is gonna I'm gonna have to cut this out. I can't have filth on the podcast. It's not really filth. It's is a it? very the very mention of the anyway, Steaks. I'll bleep it out. <laughs> we don't <coughs> upset the vegetarians, do we? I'll bleep it out. Well they haven't got the strength to get upset, so <laughs> I'll bleep it out, then you'll have to guess what Lee just said. Oh, but right. speaking of what was it International Women's Day? Yes. Because it's important that we treat women with, with the credibility and respect, particularly in the workplace. As our first news story, this is all going so well. Link it. Go on, get it in. In the Huffington Post recently, there's a women and business uh, Q&A with Kristen Kelly, the chief marketing officer of Randstad in North America. So I thought, OK, I'll have a look at this. So I read through the whole article. And you know what? I thought, there's not one picture of her. <laughs> she must be rough. <laughs> Where's the picture of the woman in business? <laughs> Let us judge her. Anyway. It's been so long since we did a podcast. It was actually Chinese New Year back in early February. And I, I had one that says here, Lee, you've got a Chinese name. Kung Hei Fat Choi. <laughs> and then you're going to say something probably abusive. And yeah, probably something relating to food. You fat, yes. You I like it with, Choi. Yeah. I like it with rice. Mm. <laughs> Kung Fat Choi. Uh, is campanology a sport? I don't know. Is it, Tim? You tell me. I don't know. I, is it, <laughs> I'm guessing you don't know what campanology is, but... but I'll cut that out, because there's nothing worse than me appearing to be even smugger than I already am. <laughs> oh, no, leave it in. Yeah. What a, a great uh, piece that Pesh Lily shared with us on uh, Facebook. Fantastic. Pesh Lily, you say? Yes. Uh, a, a woman in America, who goes by the name of Jamie Gilt, was promoting gun sense, which is common sense while she was in gun, bragging how she was teaching her five-year-old how to shoot a weapon. It was causing an outrage in the long I'm uh, outraged on their behalf. Anyway, while she's driving along... Her said firearm falls on the floor. The five-year-old picks it up and shoots her <laughs> accidentally. Excellent. Dead. You can laugh because she didn't die. Uh, but obviously, she had a wound uh, from behind. I mean, I've heard of children stabbing you in the back, but come on. Whoa. And she's called guilt. Guilt, I know. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, um, all right. Now thank you, Pesh. It, it turned, like Pesh Lily. Pesh Lily? Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, Simpsons to go live for a three-minute Q&A. Again, this is probably so old. It's probably already happened by now. But... Something about Homer Simpson, you know, Dan Castellaneta that, that voices Homer Simpson was going to do, they were going to broadcast it live and then the last three minutes he was going to be in 
in the studio on mic and the animation was going to be synced to his and he was going to do a, Q, a Q&A and I thought I'll ask Lee this Lee is it possible for a two dimensional self confessed moron to speak unscripted into a mic for three minutes alright <laughs> 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 oh, you set him up <clears throat> Leicester prison staff don't know where the inmates are I mean they've lost track of the inmates <laughs> Look behind the bars. Did you try looking on the, in the little room with bars on you? <laughs> when we say bars, we don't mean like the likes of the no-name. The no-name, a fine hostelry. We will purveyors, drink to that. purveyors of distinguished cask ale yes. to the gentry. Yes. Chin chin. Here's to Johnny at the no-name. Yes. And here's to Hennigans, who have had a bit of a change around for oh. the next comedy night. What are they doing, Lee? Tell well, us. We have the normal fantastic lineup. We've got Adam Raw headlining. He's very, very fun. We've got the... Favourite of ours, Lindsay Davis. Lindsay Davis. Forward to you, whether it's with an S-A-Y or S-E-Y, we don't mind. The poster is appearing between us on your screen yes. as we speak. Yes, and uh, Tony Basnett opening up and a newer comedian called uh, Tom Lor... Oh, Loringham. Loringham. Loring... Oh. Know your act, Lee. Damn. It'll be on the poster, everyone. Anyway. I'll leave that in to embarrass Lee. <laughs> That's all. Everybody. Anyway, there was something in the news, uh, business-wise, about hiring more minorities in the North. And I thought, hire a minority... For companies in the north, just hire someone slim and healthy. <laughs> Who's still alive at 50. <laughs> uh, and next week on Pot Calling Kettle... Uh, okay, what have you got, Lee? Well, I'll read my next note. Ah, uh, <laughs> anything else been happening? I got myself a new car, which was nice. I oh, eventually got rid of the... Uh, that's the thing, is it? Yes. Well done, Lee. I eventually got rid of the, uh, the Alfa Romeo, so no longer an Alfa male to me. Ah. I now have heated seats. Oh, the blessing of... Feeling like you've lost control of your bladder yes. whilst your lower back warms up. It's a beautiful Excellent. thing, too. It's like an epidural bath. <laughs> um, now then, I've got a piece here about accidental racism. I'm not sure if I'm ready to read it out. Accidentally read it? <clears throat> I'll accidentally read it, but Lee knows I fall victim to my own accidental racism. But we've got two cats, well, one of them's gone missing now, but they're both, they're both kind of mostly white with some black bits on them. And they're, they're sisters, they're, they're from the same litter, Snowy and Tinks. Snowy, are you in there? So, anyway, Tix has gone missing, but we've got two cats. So, I was saying to Dawn that there's, uh, there's a couple of other cats around the close, you know, but two particular identical black cats. They're beautiful. And I'm assuming they were from the same litter. So I said, there's a couple of black lads up the road. I think they're, I think they're brothers. <laughs> because we call the white cats the girls, and they oh. Yeah, so you think, and you're in. If anybody overhears that, they're going to think I'm... Uh, yeah. Although, is it racist it's just to point out that they might be brothers? I like the fact that you instantly feel shame because of it, instead the, of just it's pushing the, through. It's my internal Jew. It's your guilt. It's the Catholic in you, Timmy. Oh, so, carrying on accidental racism. <laughs> I'm in a Chinese chippy. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a Chinese Stop chippy. Stop now. No, I won't. <laughs> And it was so much fun. So I'm thinking, I'll, I've got to change here. And I've got no, some, some coins. I'm thinking, this is great. And I thought, I'm having trouble. I said, here, you'll be very good at this. Now, what I meant was, because he works in retail and he handles coins a lot, not because he's Chinese. Maybe because he's younger and he's got eyesight still. It could right. have been anything to him. Well, as soon as I said it, and he, he did a great, what, what do you mean? No, no. <laughs> He didn't say that. <laughs> this is going. <laughs> no, I'm leaving it in. Leaving it in. Bolton's first drive-thru yeah. uh, in, the, in the 60s. You know, there was a, an, a, an item in the uh, Bolton Evening News. Uh, sometime in the 60s, Bolton's first drive-thru and a picture of the, the menu, uh, the manager holding up the menu. The first Braille menu. A drive-thru with a Braille menu. <laughs> I Thank like you. that. There you I go. do like that. This is why I don't tell you anything before we yeah. turn up. <clears throat> British Army instructors are told to stop swearing at new recruits. Now, what is the world coming to if you can't bawl and shout into some young lad's face? And bully them until they kill themselves. What's the world coming to, Tim? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and there was a Canadian in the news banned from owning turtles after smuggling 38 in his pants. Ooh. I think he should just be banned from wearing pants, don't you? <laughs> I think he should. I think he should. There was a, a story about somebody uh, trying to strap bombs to uh, uh, little ones uh, to let them off. Uh, little so, ones? Yes. Yeah, it turns out he was a therapist. <gasps> oh, <laughs> all right, okay. You're going like that, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just amazed at how quickly you got onto that. And uh, but, uh, no, I shouldn't. Who do I think I am? You're the one yeah, doing who it. Who do you think you're? You're the one cutting it on stage. <laughs> just that, that actually got a laugh. 
I did run it out for the first time a couple of weeks ago. Where was it? In the Alma. In the Alma. In front of ten people, because that's how I'm rocking these days. Uh, another news item on the Reuters website. Mysterious high-pitched tone keeps Oregon <laughs> residents up at night. You know I've not been there, Timmy. I've not been there on holiday. An unexplained high-pitched tone has kept residents of a Portland suburb awake at night for at least a week, confounding the best efforts of police and firefighters to pinpoint its source, officials in the community said on Monday. Now then, Lee... <laughs> Were you reading, Tim? Have you? <laughs> yeah, better than you. <laughs> Have you been to Oregon lately? All right, okay, one more thing. Moments of joy can damage the heart. There'll be no danger of a heart attack watching this, anybody. <laughs> <laughs> you folks at home. <laughs> Have we got any more plugs to do? Any more news items? No. Before we wrap this up. That's enough it takes long of enough my to this. nonsense, because if I try and be funny... You'll have more editing to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> I've enjoyed this, Lee. It's been painless. Relative. And brief. Relatively, Tim. Relatively. Good on both fronts. Well, thank yes, you. Yes. All right. Uh, so I think that's about it. And it only remains for Lee to say ta-ta. Good evening, everybody. And me to say good afternoon. <laughs>